Welcome back, everyone. We are about to get going with another session of the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Last week, I guess last session, was just on Wednesday. We were in jail in the Imperial Province, and the Emperor mysteriously ordered us released and dropped off the boat in Morrowind, which is the easternmost province of the Empire. And we don't know much other than that we are free, and we've just been asked to drop off a package in the town of Balmora. So last week, we came to Balmora from Sedanine, where we started. And we joined the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild to sort of get our bearings. And I guess we'll go drop off that package. Hey, Orc. Do you need something? So this is Balmora. We walked up from Sedanin down here. This is the entire... Well, not the entire province of Morrowind. This is just Vardenfell, which is an island in Morrowind. And let's just check our journal, because we have to figure out where Caius Kosidi's house actually is. So, all the way back, find out where he lives, I should ask in Balmora at the corner club called South Wall. We know it is a working class corner club in Balmora, east of the Odai River, on the south end of Labor Street, owned by Bacala Clotius. Alright, so I guess first off... We're going to go to the east side of the river, because we are on the west side now. And we're going to work, look for the south wall. Oh, and I fixed the problem we were having with the graphical effects of uh, rain on water last time. And it looks much better now. Let's just check some doors. Maybe some signs. Okay, this is the South Wall Corner Club. We'll ask around for Caius. So, tell me about yourself. She's a pawnbroker. Alright. Back of Laclotius. He's the owner. He's around somewhere. So she doesn't know where Caius Cosides is. She calls him an old sugar tooth, though. I wonder what that means. Uh, and she says, Bacala will know. So we can see on the right-hand side that we've got a few discussion topics that we could get more info on. If they're grayed out there, you can see that means that this person doesn't have anything to say that we haven't already heard about that topic. So, let's ask about a few things before we go find the owner. So, she's a pawnbroker, she buys stuff, she sells stuff. That's about it. So, let's ask about the Great Houses, which is an important thing that we're going to deal with a lot here in Morrowind. So, there are three Great Houses in Vardenfell. House Redoran are the noble warriors and strong supporters of the temple. House Halalu are traders and merchant princes, strong supporters of the Empire. And House Telvani are independent wizard lords, hostile to the Empire, the Temple, and the other great houses. Uh, they are dicks, basically. They're horrible. This is the South Wall. That's good. Uh, let's ask about citizens of the Empire. So they've had peace and prosperity in Morrowind in the, under the Empire for centuries. Uh, blah, 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 free trade, free religion. Yeah, there's corruption and crime. 
But you know, things are alright. Uh, and I can ask her about the Thieves Guild. She says, they're just like any other trades guild, an organization of craftsmen and professionals. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll like what you see. Alright, let's see if we can find Bacala. Bacola? I'm not sure. He's probably the guy behind the counter. No. Where would we find Bacala? Maybe he's upstairs. Excuse me. Uh, you're blocking my way. I have to jump on your table. Thank you. Hello. I don't know if I can help you, but uh, I'll try. Uh, here he is. He's got nice shoes. You wow. want something, friend? So he is Bacala Clotius. He's the proprietor. He rents beds, has some stuff to buy. He can tell me about some stuff. So we'll ask his background first. So he runs a corner club. It's not fancy. Place for the locals. They work hard. They like peace and quiet. Yada, yada, yada. I'll ask him about his trade. So he's a publican. He has food, beds. He can give me a little Morrowind lore, which I will definitely hear about. So he says, weapons and armor wear out. Okay. You can repair them yourself or pay someone to. Latest rumors. People don't realize how deeply the Dark Elves resent the occupation. The real powers behind the Halalu Council, Orvis Dren and his Kamona Tong Syndicate, nurse those ancient resentments. They haven't had a chance of challenging Imperial authority now. The stability in the Empire were threatened, for example, if the legions were recalled because of some problem with the Septim's succession. Dren and the Tong might move openly to drive the Imperials out of Morrowind. So who are the Kamona Tong? They are the old criminal syndicate here in Morrowind, and as everyone around here knows, there's a gang war between the Thieves' Guild and the Kamona Tong. All right, and they hang over at the council club. We'll try not to run into them unless we have to. All right, let's ask about uh, Caius Cosides. So he rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door, to the terrace, then right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs, and down to the end of the street. Okay. So not that door front door then up the stairs then left and up to the end of the street Caius Cosidy's house all right it's it's a bit of a mess this is uh, good old Caius Cosidy's oh he's got some I'm listening drug paraphernalia hanging around that's good to know says i'm caius cosides what do you mean you're told to report to caius cosides what are you talking about he's just an old man with a skooma problem he says when you ask about him well what's his background he's a monk apparently all right well i'm going to report to him you say your name is dorcas malorcus and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package and I guess we'll hand it over. So it says here, the Emperor wants me to make you a novice of the blades. No dungeons yet. Not tonight. Uh, but we may find one. Who knows? This is just a house. It's not a very nice house, but it's not a dungeon. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to be a member of the blades? Sure. Hi, Mr. Tibbs. So we are the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. I can use his bed if I need to rest, but leave his personal stuff alone unless he says otherwise. If you like, you can improve your skills with the Blades Trainers now. If you're in a hurry, he can give us orders, but don't forget to visit the Blades Trainers. So let's ask about Blades Trainers first. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, I guess. So, Agents of the Blades offer training, not for free. 
Uh, oh, and he's giving me some names of people. So we've got a warrior. We have a healer. A hunter. A mage. Uh, and an Aldrun, which is another town. We have Gildan, who is a knight blade. We have Sjorvar, who is a master at arms. Uh, and then Sedanin, alone the scout. Okay, and actually we met her. She's the one that gave us directions to find this guy in the first place. So let's get a little background on the blades, I guess. So, they're spies, he says, were the Emperor's hidden eyes and ears. But we're only one of the many guilds and factions in Morrowind, and I should know a little bit about Morrowind politics before I get involved in any of these other groups. So you've got Imperial groups like the Blades, the Imperial Cult, the Imperial Legion, the Fighters and Mages Guild, and the Thieves Guild. Uh, native Dunmer groups are House Rhetorin, Lalu and Telvani. Uh, they've got the Temple, the Morig Tong, the Kimona Tong, and the Ashlanders. So we don't need to dive into everything yet. Let's just see what he wants us to do right off the bat. So he says, we're new. Here's 200 bucks. Go get a decent weapon or armor or a spell. Uh, also, I need a cover identity. And around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. I should sign on with the Fighters Guild or Mages Guild, Imperial Cult, Imperial Legion, blah, blah, blah. Advance in the ranks, gain some skill and experience, or go out on my own and look for freelance work or trouble. Uh, and when I'm ready, come back and he'll have more orders for us. So basically, he wants us to go around, make a name for ourselves, do a little exploring, and get familiar with Morrowind. Which is good. Uh, we've already been doing that. We already joined the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild. We'll see what he has to say about them. So the Fighters Guild is chartered by the Emperor to regulate hiring and training of mercenaries. Uh, the Mages Guild. It's where you go to find wizards for hire. And I guess we are a wizard for hire if we join the Mages Guild. What else can he tell us about that would be useful right now? Uh, the Imperial Cult. That's the Empire's religion. So they've got, you know, nine gods and they all have their spheres. Uh, it's not the native religion here. But they do have outposts and they, they help people who are members. And we can join them up at Fort Moonmoth if we want to. Uh, we got the three houses, as I mentioned before. We've got Hlalu, so they're big Empire supporters. We've got Redoran, who are very serious and honorable. And we've got Telvani, <laughs> who are ruled by thousand-year-old wizards. They hate politics, foreigners, and just about everything else. They are a fun bunch. Uh, we've got the Morig Tong, which is the native assassins guild. What else can we ask him about? Uh, the Legion is here. We could join the Legion. They do things like law enforcement, uh, rescues, keeping bandits off the roads, that kind of thing. Uh, we have to go up to Fort Darius in Nisus if we want to join. So that's good to know. Uh, I'll ask him about himself. So he's the Imperial Spymaster in Morrowind. And we report to him. Okay. So freelance work. He says we can always just wander around, hunt monsters, collect ingredients, that kind of stuff. Search ruins for loot. Uh, what else is actually interesting here? Uh, oh, shoot. We asked for orders. We'll do this later. Anyway, 
We got it. He wants us to talk to Hasfat Antibolus at the Belmora Fighters Guild and ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine cult and the Sixth House secret cult. Uh, but we have to do him a favor first. Anyway, we'll do that later. We're going to follow his first instructions and uh, just get acquainted with Morrowind. So we're going to go back to the Fighters Guild and see what they want us to do next. It'll probably be very exciting. Last time, we killed three rats for a woman and stopped them from eating her pillows. Let's just head across the river and back to the Fighters Guild. Mage's Guild, and this is the Fighter's Guild. Go ahead, I'm listening. And we get our orders All from scamps I could Idis here. Give us some orders. Ooh, egg poachers. All right. So over at the Shulk Egg Mine, they've got a problem with egg poachers. Former egg miners, longtime local troublemakers. Okay, so how do we get to the Shulk Egg Mine? It's a little southwest of town in the bluffs west of the Odai River. There's an old suspension bridge just southeast of the mine entrance. So we're going to follow the river south until we see the bridge. All right. Tell me about the egg poachers. Okay, she just wants to know if we've taken care of it yet. We're going to go do that. But, our friend Caius gave us some money, so we're going to check out the armor shop and see if we can get anything better. So we've got steel armor right now, but no helmet. We'll see what we've got for sale here. Heavy armor is what we're looking for. That's what we're specializing in. So you've got a Trollbone Helm, which is probably the best that they've got here. Uh, and it looks like they've got a better axe for us, too. That does 1 to 27 slash 1 to 36. Yeah, it's way better than our iron. So we're going to sell our iron battle axe and buy a steel battle axe. And the rest is probably no good. This is the best we can get right now. Try and talk him down for his price a little bit. Oh, he said no way. There we go. Second try. So we're going to put our cool helmet on. Equip our axe. See how we look. Oh yeah, we look good. We look good. These egg poachers are going to be terrified. So, follow the river south is what they tell us. already see the suspension bridge off in the fog there. So the mine shouldn't be far from here. That's it right there. Got some people hanging out out front. Let's talk to them and see if they know anything about the egg poaching that's been going on. Do you have something to say, Orc? Okay, no need to be rude. So he's a miner in the Shulk Egg Mine, but he's taking a break. He's just an egg miner. 
Uh, get a little bit of Morrowind lore. There are three cultures that live in Vardenfell. We've got the nomadic Ashlanders, the settled House Dunmer, and the Western Imperial colonists. Good to know. Tell me a little secret. He says, Kwama foragers and warriors won't attack us since they're used to our smell, but they will attack intruders. And I smell like an intruder. All right. He says, don't worry. The queen squirts out foragers and warriors like seeds. If the foragers and warriors bother you, kill them or run past, whichever's easier. Do them a favor and don't kill the workers. They won't bother me and they need them. Okay. So tell me about Kwama foragers. So Kwama foragers scout the surface of the land, natural underground passages, searching for suitable locations for new colonies. They are aggressive, but not very dangerous. We've actually run into a few of these guys. I think they're cute. So he's an egg miner. All right. Tell me about the egg poachers. He says they used to work here. They're not good people, and they could be hiding anywhere in the mine. What do you have to say about the egg poachers? They haven't seen them, but the eggs keep disappearing. Since they used to work here, they know the place, and it's easy for them to get in and out and stay out of sight. Okay. All right, I'm gonna walk a little more slowly now. If you look in the lower left there, that green bar is my fatigue meter, and I am starting to get pretty fatigued. And as you get more tired in Morrowind, you get worse at everything you do. So it's good to keep it up as high as possible. Okay, axe out. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can find these egg poachers. Okay, there are some Kwama eggs. Very cool. That looks like a forager. He's probably going to attack us. If I can hit him, he's not too tough. There's another one. Wait for him to notice me. That's a scrib. He shouldn't be aggressive. Forager coming our way. That's a worker. He won't bother us. Oh, but we got a forager coming. He can get around his buddy. foragers two at once seeing any poachers excuse me little dude deeper into the mine That looks like someone who doesn't like me very much. I'm gonna guess she's a poacher. Because she's attacking me with a pickaxe. On one of these little guys. Alright. Danila Vallis. Is that one of the people? I 
imagine that's one of the poachers. Hope so. They attacked me first. Everyone saw that. Oh, there's the queen. She's cute. Just gonna leave her alone. Here comes the other guy. Yeah, he's having the same trouble I was getting around the workers. <laughs> Don't want to accidentally hit a worker when I'm fighting him either. <laughs> okay. That should do it. Oh, he's got a lot of eggs. Take them. This up here is the door that I passed by near the beginning. What else have we got? Just a little egg clutch. This is not the door we passed at the beginning. This is somewhere else. Oh. Another miner. This guy's not trying to attack me with a pickaxe. Don't press your luck. This lady, You're on your honor. She says, don't harm the workers. Let's ask her about the egg poachers. We don't know anything about that. We're just doing our jobs. She says, miners don't grow the eggs. We just harvest them. The queen lays the eggs. The workers plant them, tend them, and nourish them. We just harvest them. All right. Well, they look tasty. I'm not going to lie. Look at these things can make a killer omelet. Tell me about the egg poachers. You don't have anything new to say about them? Tell me about Morrowind. It says the Ashlanders claim the right to raid other Ashlander tribes and non-Ashlander settlements for booty and slaves. Right. Oh, awesome. I'm listening. You've got my ear. Let's hear it. Tell me about Morrowind, friend says, by Redoran customs, killing is justified in war, self-defense, defense of property, affairs of honor, and house wars affairs. Other killings are foul murder. She doesn't have anything new to tell me. Let's see if we can find our way out of here. Okay, this is probably the door I passed earlier. So we are just about out of here. We can go report our success in clearing out the egg poachers. Maybe we'll eat one of the eggs that we found. Okay. Chomp one of these eggs. No effect. Okay, that one worked. Yes, as we get better at alchemy, we're going to get better at eating things. Oh, looks like we passed by a tomb on our way, too. I'll leave it alone for now. Do a little hopping. Hopping around, we'll get her acrobatic skill leveled up. 
It's always good to be able to jump. And acrobatics also helps us with falling from heights. Uh, the better our acrobatic skill, the more likely we are to be unharmed when we fall from up high. So we're just going to do a little hopping. We always try and keep it leveling as we go. As long as we don't care about our fatigue being basically zero. Because it does tire us out. I'm listening, please go ahead. Let's report in. Well met. Okay, we got both of the egg poachers. And we got a hundred bucks for it. And some potions. Hey, hey, Duke. How you doing this evening? New orders. So we got a contract to kill four Telvani agents responsible for trouble at the Caldera Mine. Well, you know that happens. Some evenings are like that. <laughs> Uh, so the Telvani agents are responsible for thefts and disappearances at the Caldera Ebony Mines. Uh, their names are Alino Aralin, Sathasa Nerathren, Fothina Herathran, and Alvaleg. They're hiding in a cave in the hills north of the Caldera Mine. Yes, yes, uh, Duke. The entire... <laughs> the entire... Uh, island that this game takes place on is a volcano. So the quickest way to Calderitas ha to have the guild guide of the Mage's Guild teleport us. All right. <laughs> We're in a, a foreign land, Duke. They all have weird names. They do sound suspiciously randomly generated, though. So Alainu Aralin, she was expelled from the Fighters Guild. She stole from her guild steward. She's stupid, but she can fight. <laughs> so she joined the Thieves Guild when they kicked her out. But she's nobody important. This Caldera Mine Trouble is not a Thieves Guild job. All right, well, there's... She told me it was Telvani agents, but this person's in the Thieves Guild. All right, tell me about Forthina Herathran. She's Thieves Guild, a local dark elf. She's known on Azura's coast. She could be trouble. But like I told you, this Caldera Mine Trouble is not a Thieves Guild job. Yeah, methinks the lady doth protest too much. Tell me about Elvaleg. He's Thieves Guild. He's a wood elf. Uh, the Telvani prefer to f hire Nords and wood elves when they can't get natives. I know nothing about him, but this is not a Thieves Guild job. Uh, you keep telling me that. They are Thieves Guild, and if you belong to the Thieves Guild and you murder a Thieves Guild member, you get expelled. But it's only murder if the crime is reported. You're not going to report it, are you? After all, she's our steward, and she's giving me a job to do. Interesting, interesting. Well, it sounds to me like it's not a Thieves Guild job. I'm definitely not getting caught up in something that is over my head. Okay. Well. I wonder if I can ask something. around about it. Anything I can do for you? They don't have anything to say. Oh, she's got some Morrowind lore to share. She says that House Dunmer are the common dark elves of Morrowind. They live everywhere on Vardenfell in towns, villages, manors, and farms. Yeah, I mean, I'm confident I can handle anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they're underestimating me here and that I can hack and slash my way out of any trouble I get myself into. Uh, I'm carrying a lot of stuff, so I'm going to try and sell it. Sell some stuff. Oh, he's only going to buy my armor, huh? Oh, well. We 
you buy anything for me? No, you won't. Anyone else here who will buy for me? I think this is just where we can sleep, yeah. Not sure if there's anything else interesting down here. Maybe a trainer? Yeah, it looks like a training room. Oh, and this is the guy that uh, Caius Cosides wants us to talk How to. We're gonna, we're gonna leave him alone for now. Do we're not gonna follow up on that yet. Yeah, so she offers training. And I'm always looking to find out a little more Morrowind lore. Uh, okay, I already knew that my weapons and armor can wear out. So tell me some advice. She says, if I take a job, <laughs> have the good sense to hold off if it's too hard for me. All right, tell me about the great houses. So Redoran are the noble warriors. Lalu are the traders and merchant princes. princes. House Talvani are independent wizard lords who are hostile to basically everyone. And I think we've heard that before. And apparently this job that is definitely not a Thieves Guild job, uh, they are Talvani agents, is what we are being told. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? All right. Can we unload any of this stuff? Nah, we'll be fine. All right, so Caldera. Okay, so that's Caldera on the map. We could try walking up there, or we could get the Mages Guild to teleport us. Let's get the Mages Guild to teleport us. Is there something I can do for you? I think we collected the mushrooms we need for Ajira here. <laughs> do I have samples of all the mushrooms? Yes, I do. Oh, and I got some potions in return. All right. Uh, actually, Duke, the soundtrack is 100% written for this game. So this lady can teleport me to any guild of mages. So let's go to Caldera. Can I be of service? All right. That didn't take long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the main theme of Morrowind. It's pretty iconic. It could be inspired, though. Uh, tell me about the Caldera Ebony Mines, man. So they're southwest of the village. Just gonna see if anyone knows about what's going on at the mine. Do a little reconnaissance before we get sucked into everything. So the Caldera mine is chartered by the Emperor to extract ebony ore from the rich underground deposits. Uh, yeah, so Caldera is an imperial charter town. Right? The town has a real western flavor. It makes outlanders feel right at home. Okay, tell me about Morrowind. Uh, yeah, again, reminding me May to repair my weapons and armor. You seem light on spells. Let us talk business. <laughs> uh, tell me a rumor. House Redoran's really mad about the Caldera land grab. They think this town is in their territory and that they should have gotten the charter. 
when they think House Lalu is skimming off the top of the Imperial Fat Cat Company that got the charter. All right, and since it's an Imperial Company, Redoran can't even get a House War contract on it. Sounds like trouble's brewing. So this is Caldera, and it does look like the towns we were visiting in Daggerfall. So it does have sort of a Western feel to it, as they said. Yes, Let's orc? keep asking around about uh, about the mine and see if anyone knows anything about it. So this guy is telling me the House Redoran are the true warriors of the ancient Dunmer. House Lalu has adopted more of the Empire's ways, but he has more respect for the warriors of House Redoran. It's entirely possible that they're riffing on it, Duke. I am not super familiar with classical music, so it possibly went over my head. Uh, what do we got here? A pawn shop. Check our journal. They're hiding in a cave in the hills north of the Caldera Mine. All right. Let's find the mine first. And ask around there know? about the thefts and disappearances. So they're southwest of the village. Tell me about Morrowind. By imperial law and custom, killing is fair in war, self-defense, defense of property, affairs of honor, and sanctioned affairs of state. Uh, everything else is moida. <laughs> Okay, southwest of town. I'm listening. Oh, we got a signpost here. Maybe there will be a sign for it. Nope, just for the town. Just in case. We've got combat music making me nervous. see if we can find this mine. Oh, we got one of these guys. Where are they going to fight? Okay, the bird's fighting the lizard thing. We're going to just move on. Let them sort that out. Follow the trail. Could be overshooting it. But if we get too far away, and yeah, we're pretty far from the town already, I think we're probably too far. Gonna find that mine. Climb the hill so we can avoid that lizard thing. An allet, I think, is what it's called. <laughs> no, it's normal, Duke. Everyone carries around their weapons when they're out of town. Unless they're dumb. Okay, we got a good vantage point up here. Racer. Oh, come on. Get out of here, man. Right. We are pretty fatigued, so I'm going to... Get up high and see if we can see the mine. No, 
Okay, so the cliff racer's coming. Here comes our first cliff racer. <laughs> Hate those things. Okay, we're getting up high. See if we can see a mo Oh, there we go. So I think that's the mine. Let's get over there and ask around. See if people can tell us about the thefts and disappearances. building first. Mining company office. That makes sense. Hello. Can you not tell me anything about the thefts and disappearances? Alright. Well, tell me about Morrowind. About 50% of Vardenfell's inhabitants are Dunmer. Uh, and the rest are all pretty equal proportion. Alright. I'm listening. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't see anything suspicious in the figures. That's good. So the Imperial Cult brings the Imperial Religion to the Empire's remote provinces. Alright, good to know. Tell me about the Mages Guild. Uh, their services are cheaper for members. That's good to know. We are a member. Alright. Really just looking for someone to ask about the thefts and disappearances. Someone's got to know about them. Ledger. No one's around, though. I'm just going to take this one. You never know when you're going to need a ledger for the mine. Alright, well, no one here seems to know anything about the thefts and disappearances. We'll uh, check out that cave. I think this guy is their lookout. Get their axe out. Maybe wait for fatigue to come up a little bit. I'm a little injured from that cliff racer, but I think we're okay. Excuse me, sir. Are you a Telvanni agent? actually talk to me a little bit. So he says, The first age Dunmer tribes that settled Morrowind became the modern Great House clans. Ashlanders also descend from these early Dunmer tribes. Alright. Uh, well, I'm going to ask him about Telvanni agents. Run while you can! <laughs> okay, so maybe they are Telvanni agents. He's trying to kill me now that I asked him about it. Trying to arrow me. Anything worth money? He's got a dragon scale tower shield. I'm gonna take that. That's worth money. And 
and a restore health potion that I'm gonna drink immediately. All right, let's see if his friends are in the cave. I mean, I guess they are Telvanni agents, and that is not a Thieves' Guild job. Got a whole gaggle of them. Here we go. Spell. Come on. We're gonna get our butt kicked, folks. Where are my healing potions? Well, getting beaten on our, is uh, helping our armor skills. Okay. I'm really terrible at restoration magic. I can't heal myself to save my life, literally. He's got some potions that are worth taking. This person had a magic sword they were hitting me with. It's not worth a lot of money, though. Good potions. Uh, I'm going to take the sword. But, you know, if I need to drop something because I'm carrying too much, I'll, uh... I'll hug it. Do you have anything good? Decent potions. No armor I'm interested in. There's no one else in here. It's just sort of like their little hideout. Hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm throwing stars at myself, but I'm not very good at it. Oh, there we go. I was trying to heal myself, Amazon Warrior. But my healing magic skills are not great. Okay, what do these bandits have? They got a little bit of gold. You've got... Potion. One gold. Three gold. Five gold. Three gold. Every little bit helps, you know. Uh, looks like they've got some booze. It's in this chest. Okay. It's a locked and trapped chest. So first we're going to disarm the trap on it, or at least we're going to try to. We're really good at this, too. Probably gonna break our little trap probe. But it's always good to try. Practice your skills. Yep, we broke it. Do we have another one? We don't. Okay, well, we'll try picking the lock. Okay, and we're just gonna see how much this trap hurts. Quite a bit. Uh, and there's one gold inside and some booze. All right. Uh, let's get our axe back. Yeah, you can definitely tell you're casting a spell when you're casting a spell. It's good stuff. Oh, there's a fish in there that's going to try and hurt us like a couple of them. I 
They're very dainty about it, though. Uh, I'm not gonna pick the scales off of them. Is there anything down here? Uh, first off, I should see if I have a spell that lets me breathe underwater. I do. Probably gonna be down there for a while, so let's cast that. Alright. What do we got down here? What's this? That looks like a skull. Okay, okay. That guy did not cast water breathing before he went down. Is there anything down here? Or is it just a dead end? Getting better at swimming. Oh, haha! -ha. There's a chest down here. And it's trapped, so we're just gonna have to open it and spring the trap because I broke my trap disarming probe. Uh, but that wasn't too bad. What did it do? Oh, drain fatigue. So we've got basically <laughs> not much worth grabbing. Put the belt on. I don't have a belt yet. I don't want my pants falling down. Up we go. like everything we can grab in here. Did we check this crate? We didn't. Couple more things to grab. So that's it. We can head back to Balmora and report the success of our mission. I think we'll walk back. We got combat music as soon as we step out. That usually means there's a cliff racer around. <laughs> well, they are a renewable resource. I get back. Okay, there's the town over there. Uh, what's this guy doing? This guy not wearing any clothes? This guy is just standing there in his underwear. Speak up. Lormar Winesot. What's the deal, man? Hail and well met, stranger. As you can plainly see, I require some assistance if you be kind enough to grant it. I need help finding the festering witch who has robbed me blind and left me for dead. <laughs> A witch she had to be. I was on my way to Caldera when I met her. She was a stranger here like myself, and our conversations lightened the burden of travel. She was quite friendly, and well, you know, we set up camp together. But that night she revealed the witch inside. Cast a spell on me, I couldn't so much as blink. Stole everything, even my worn out clothes, but most importantly, she took my prized axe cloud cleaver. Join with me, stranger, let's find her and extract her entrails together. <laughs> All right, well, I wanna, I wanna hear the rest of this story, so I'm gonna help. Tell me about Cloud Cleaver, a fine blade. His father, Balmer, used it himself to slay the terror of Rothgar's quagmire. Uh, and now granted the terror turned out to be a newborn Nyx hound eating the neighbor's marshmallow, but me father found him and slew him nevertheless in as grand a fashion as I have ever borne witness to. I cannot wait to have the blade in my hands again, and I'll use it to take the witch's head clean off. 
Well, I think we're going to get her side of the story. Uh, I'm very interested in this. All right, so what did he say? Uh, he left her up to the, the northwest, though he could be wrong as the spell disoriented him a bit. Northwest it is. Let's see if we can find her, and I guess he's going to come with us. He better take it easy, though. I want to hear her side of the story first. someone down there oh we've been we're actually out on a mission we just uh, helped the caldera ebony mines out uh, here comes a damn cliff racer now we're gonna report back to Balmora but I, I'm solving the mystery of uh, poor Lormar who says a witch stole his clothes is this the witch? If I ever see that elf, he's in so much trouble. <laughs> okay. Am I interested in making a deal? So she's just a poor merchant trying to make her way to Narmok with some trade goods. She could use an escort since hers is buggered off. Uh, I'm not going to do this right now. I'll uh, pick that up later. So I want to help uh, Plormar here. You will die where you stand. Here he comes. <laughs> Just don't get in my way, Plormar. Mind who you're fighting. Yeah, get out of my way, dude. Mind who you're fighting. Okay. So I don't know if this is the way to find the witch or not. <laughs> yeah, it all comes back to you. All right, I'm not seeing the witch yet. This guy's going to try and hurt us. So this guy has no idea where this witch is. We're going to have to retrace our steps because it clearly was not to the northwest. Or maybe I just walked right by it and completely missed her. <laughs> the problem is they're really good at like staggering you. So they can stun you, and you just stand there getting beaten on by seven flying lizards. All right. I'm not sure if we are going the right way to help poor... Rolmar, Lormar, Lormar, sorry, Lormar. <laughs> yeah, they are nasty, nasty, nasty. Yes. H wind slot. Okay, let's see if we can head cross country and find that witch. Oh wait, who's this? Rasha thinks we can help him with some pressing business. What is it? He has a shipment of fine clothing that has to get to Ald Rune, but he fears other business draws him away. Perhaps 
You think I might come to an arrangement with you? Blah, blah, blah. Deliver Rasha's shirts. The clothier in old rune, and she will pay you, and she's generous. Uh, yeah, okay. Everyone wants us to do something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so straight up the the clothes off Rasha's back we have to deliver to Alrune. Yes. So we got another task after this. Uh, we really got to find that witch, though, because I want to get rid of this mostly naked guy who's following me around. It's not always a desirable circumstance. <laughs> it's an effect I have on people, Oprah. Okay, and hopefully we won't get lost because we are going cross country. Usually it's a pretty good idea to stick to the roads, but I am lazy. I just want to find where the path forked and I decided to go west instead of north because the guy said the witch is to the northwest. Oh, maybe that's it over there. Got a little hut. We'll take a gander. With me. We got a guar, I think. Yeah, it's a guar. They're a pack animal that people keep here. They're pretty cute, and not usually aggressive. Aren't they great? <laughs> okay, so this does not look like a witch. That's how I like it. Bold and direct. Sjorvar Horsemouth. Okay, definitely not the witch he's talking about. that fork in the road. Okay, there's the woman that wants me to escort her to Nisus. Come back for her later. Because I actually do want those boots of blinding speed. They're a fun little artifact. Okay, so here's the fork in the road. Just gonna save our game. Let's see if we can find the witch up this way. Though I have my doubts as to her being an actual witch. There's someone. Just uh, wait a moment for my uh, orc to catch his breath. Like I said earlier, our little fatigue bar in the lower left, the green one that's coming back up, the lower it is, the worse I am at everything, uh, from casting spells to swinging my weapons. Oh, who's he fighting? Oh, he's having a good time fighting a bat. Run while you still can, child. I'm try not to hit him. Okay. This guy needs to calm down. You don't need to fight bats. Unless this bat's gonna fight us. This bat looks like it's gonna leave us alone. Okay. 
Let's see if this is actually a witch. Hello there, stranger. I see you've already met my good friend, Hlormar. Her name is Socia Karistiana the Healer. How can I be of assistance? Uh, tell me about being a healer. She heals the afflicted and diseased. She's also studied unarmed, unarmored martial arts. Neat. Tell me about Morrowind. We're gonna make some chit chat before we get down to business here. The two criminal guilds here are the Kimona Tong, which is the native criminal crime syndicate, and the Thieves Guild, which are the Imperial Newcomers. The Thieves Guild is fighting for its life against the ruthless and well-established Kimona Tong. All right, let's talk about Hlormar. A right funny story that one is. The true story, Darkest Malorgus, is that I took Chlormar on as a traveling companion for protection only for the road to Caldera. Along the way, he was getting entirely too friendly for his own good, to the point where I actually had to cast a sleep spell on him. Just to teach him a lesson in manners, I stripped him and left him by the road. And to be sure he didn't come after me for retribution, I took that cloud cleaver he's always fawning over as well. That sounds a lot more likely to me. Uh, his last name is Winesot. I mean, I don't want to stereotype, but... So, she says he looks angry, so she's not going to return the axe. But her offer is if he meets her at the Mages Guild Hall in three days, he'll re she'll return everything to him. All right. Oh, is he, who's he fighting now? Jesus. Yeah, I absolutely believe her story. Come here, man. Okay, let's talk about Cloud Cleaver, all right? Uh, the offer is... He's not going to wait another three days to have his axe. He's asking if I'm going to help him or if I'm going to believe the witch. Uh, I believe her because this guy has done nothing but try to punch wild animals since I've known him. You're bested. This is too easy. <laughs> He's a problem. trying to punch me to death I need something that will restore my fatigue get out of here man he did not like her offer and I guess this bat's trying to fight us too feel to know death is I will bathe in your get out of here another potion these bats are a problem I'll give him that fine go away yeah and he really doesn't have anything all right this is done. Such is the way fools meet their ends. <laughs> it's a bat, yeah. All right, she'll give it to someone who deserves it and I get some potions out of it. Perfect. That works for me. Bat still going for me. Come on. Tricky little guy. I'm gonna have to use magic. He's annoying me too much. Yeesh. Okay, let's go help that lady who wants me 
Fried bat for dinner, yep. That lady wanted me to help her get to Nisus, which I believe is up here, yeah. She's going to give me the boots of blinding speed for it. Which is a good deal. I mean, she thinks she's ripping me off, and you'll see why, but I want them anyway. Here she is. Save our game. All right. A wondrous pair of boots indeed. The name says it all. She'd hate to ever part with them. All right. She's just an honest trader. We don't have a deal. Oh. I guess we can't do it anymore. That's too bad. I'll have to come rob her later. Anyway, uh, I guess because I turned her down the first time, uh, I can't do the quest for her. But uh, she'd give me the boots of blinding speed at the end. And what they do is make you completely blind and also boost your speed as high as it can go. So you can run super fast, but you can't see anything. Uh, they're fun anyway, though. And I believe I'm an orc, so I have an inherent magic resistance. If you equip them and unequip them a bunch of times, you have a chance for you to get the good effect, but not get the bad effect. Who's this guy? There's a million people on the road. Who are you? Another person who wants help. You're not one of the town bosses. How about you help me? He'll give me a present. He says, The guys in Caldera think he did something bad, so they're looking for him. He's too smart for them, though. He can hide real good. His friend can help him. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring her a note for him. He can give me a present for it. Yeah, sure. I'll bring a note. Yeah, he says, take the note to Bashik Grabit in Caldera. Okay, well, first off, I'm going to read the note. Stuck in woods because sword-smacking town bosses think I did what we did, but they shouldn't know. <laughs> Keep secret. Come get me as soon as possible when you can now. I'm hiding by the tree near a rock and another rock. It was raining. I am good at hiding, so if you don't see me, that is where I am. Come now, bug roll. P.S. If I am not where I am hiding, look at another place. I like this guy. So let's uh, let's bring his note to his friend in town. <laughs> I think he's self-taught. Is that another bat? The bats are as bad as cliff racers. Can I get across this? Yeah, we're gonna go cross country. Not me, I'm not coming back for him. That's his friend's problem once I deliver the note. I guess I do want the present. Where did it say? He can own, I don't even know what, uh, what place to look for her in here. <laughs> so I guess we'll just ask around. Slow down, I want to talk to you. <laughs> okay, so that trader who tried to... Alright, well I can go kill that trader because she has a bounty on her head. Uh, so I'll do that when I go out yeah. to get my present from Bashuk. 
or Brogol or Broccoli or whatever his name is. Uh, I have no idea where his friend is, so we're just gonna look around. We got Clothier. I'm looking for a pub or something, a place someone would gather. Hang out with other people, have a drink. That is clearly an armorer. Good. Shank's Shovel. That sounds like a pub. Alright. Can't ask him about her, so we're just gonna look around and see if she's here. Is it like literally just beds? Okay, I don't think we need to talk to him. Alright. Well, I guess she's not here. Where could she be? Where could she be? Oh, there's a whole other room in here. Uh, someone in particular. Nope. Does she have a house here? That's also a possibility, I guess. Gorak Manor. What was her name? Maybe she's hanging in, hanging out in here with all the orcs. Citizen. see well, there's creeper we'll talk about him in a bit oh we'll talk about him now creeper basically buys everything uh at its value so that's worth 230 he'll pay us 230 for it uh, and he's got a lot of gold so he's worth visiting when you want to sell stuff so we are going to do that Yes, he he is uh, a scamp, I believe, is what they're called. They are a, a type of Daedra, which is technically a demon, but this is a lesser Daedra. And he's very handy. An adorable little demon. Okay. Strength is a virtue, friend. Well, None of these are that guy's friend. Citizen. What's your name? Bashik Grabat. That wasn't her name, right? Nope. Where's Bashik Grabat living at? Pike. Well. well, let's keep looking. I'm listening. Yes. All right, I'm listening. She in here. You have for sale while we're here. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Anything good? Silver one-handed axe. Silver is better than steel, but uh, we've got a two-hander, which does a lot more damage. Imperial Steel Greaves. A little bit better than what we're currently wearing. I'll take that. We'll 
sell our regular steel greaves. Always got to be looking for upgrades. There we go. Fancy armor. No one up here. Speak yeah. freely, this friend. About, orc? Oh, she does have a house. This is our friend's friend. A note from Bugral to her. Where did that fool get himself? He's not smart like me, you know. Alright. Bugral is always getting in trouble. Not me. She's too smart. He's a good hider, but she's a better finder. He'll find him near a tree and a rock and another rock. No problem. He'll feel better if I take this note to him. If I can find him. <laughs> okay. Give finding him a try, big shot, she says. Alright, well I'm going to read this note too. Stay where you are going. We'll look for you there. Who is the stupid orc anyway? Don't tell about what we didn't do that the town bosses know we did. Better that way. Alright. Alright. What a hapless duo. See if I can find him. He is a good hider. So he was up here somewhere. I am by a rock and a tree and another rock. looking. Anyone see a rock and a tree and another rock? You know, we've seen stranger things already. Morrowind is a weird place. take care of this bounty on her. Get our boots at blinding speed. All right, go ahead. Wait until we catch our breath. Let's talk to her. All right. Run or die. Collect that bounty. blinding speed as you can see they greatly boost your speed but also blind you 
So we'll put them on so we can make short work of this. Okay, so we are blinded, but... Basically, because we are an orc, we have a chance to resist the effect. Although it doesn't really blind me all that much. Oh no, we're not going to kill the orc. We killed the lady that tried to rip us off with these boots that half blind us. They're great boots. Ah, there he is. Okay, take off the boots so we can see again. Our there he is, we found him. Beyond the cities. Good hunting. No, we're an orc. We don't want that, Duke. Okay, give him the note. Okay, <laughs> she's gonna help. And I do want my present. Here's your present. Hee hee, I'm sure you'll like it. It's a nice rock. Ha ha ha, stupid hero. Uh, diamond has been added to my inventory. <laughs> all right. He's all right. I like him. Okay. So now we need to go. I'm going to put on my boots of blinding speed again. So that we can get back to town really fast. <laughs> yeah, but this is a cut diamond. Okay, back to town really fast. With our boots of blinding speed that only kind of dim our vision. Back to the Mages Guild. And we're gonna take our boots off. You seem light on spells. Let us talk business. I suppose I have a moment. And we are going to zip back to Balmora and report that we did the Fighters Guild job. Can I be of service? <laughs> Fight my way to the top, huh? Do you need my services? Okay, we're going to go next door to the Fighters Guild and report that we did that Is job. I I suppose I have a moment. So what's this about? <laughs> Okay, 400 bucks. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, we got a promotion in the Fighters Guild. And she says if we want another promotion, we got to do more work. She needs someone she needs someone to return a code book that belongs to our client. It's in the hands of Sotild in the South Wall in Balmora. She's Thieves Guild. I'm supposed to steal a code book from her, huh? If you need a good laugh or a tall tale. I don't know, I think they got something what against the Thieves Guild. Ahead. There's something going on here. Uh, I'm going to go deliver those clothes in Aldru first. So Aldrun is the Vardenfell seat of House Redoran. They are those serious traditional warriors that we've been hearing about. And 
we gotta go find the clothier, whose name is... Vale Tenerin. Okay, at the Eldrune Clothier. Eldrune's a cool town. Oh, wrong door. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, but you can sort it by quests. Uh, the trick is to just, uh, you know... Not pick up too many, which is difficult, as you can see. I ran into like eight people who wanted to give me quests on the road. So here's Aldrune. I suppose I have oh, and we got an ash storm happening. As I said, Vardenfell is a volcanic island. And there are these frequent ash storms. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, the, the journal sorting is amazing. So we gotta find the clothier. The rat in the pot. Outland. Sounds what like a pub. Oh, it looks like we're clearing up. Phew. Nasty ash storms. In Council Club. Uh, that Ald Scar is uh, the seat of House Redoran and is built inside the shell of an Emperor Crab. It's uh, pretty cool. So, where's the clothier? General Merchant, Smith. That is clearly a bookstore. What is this? Pawnbroker. Speak, traveler. That is the ghost fence you can see in the distance there. And that uh, wall draped across the mountains. Uh, what it does is it surrounds Red Mountain, which is the volcano there in the center. The ancient immortal enemy of the Tribunal, who are the living gods of Morrowind. Uh, Dagoth Ur dwells at the center of the volcano in the middle of Red Mountain. And the ghost fence was put up by the tribunal to keep him and his ash vampires and all their monsters inside there. Uh, House Telvani is awful. <laughs> I mean, it's cool being a wizard lord, but they're just jerks to everyone. I'm House Redoran all the way, personally. Where is the clothier? Yes, uh, every house you get, uh, you get to build yourself a base once you get advanced enough in the ranks. But uh, House Telvani is pretty cool because you don't just build a house, a uh, base for yourself. They give you like. A tiny little mushroom and you grow it with magic into a giant tower you live inside. It's pretty wicked. Uh, is the clothier actually in Aldscar? I have to check. Because I'm not finding it here. It must be inside here. Alright. Is that a clothier? That is. That's who we need to deliver the shirt to. The there she is. Tailoring is right here, Outlander. Okay. 
Oh, she's got more work for me. All right, someone bought a shirt from her, and I'm supposed to get him to pay up. All right, I'll talk to him later, but first I got to get back to Rasha, I think. Do I have to get, get to have to get back to Rasha? Let's check. Nope, that shirt, that quest is tied up. I got paid. Yep. So I guess we're gonna <laughs> shake down this guy to pay for his fancy shirts he's been buying. Let's ask around about him. guy says this is the town I need to be in if I want to join House Redoran, which I might do at some point. I think they are cool, and they live in a giant crab shell, and I've always wanted to live in a giant crab shell. Ah. Okay, take it easy. Yeesh. Okay, where does this guy live? We don't know. We're going to have to ask around. It's got to be one of the manors here. It's this. It's got a bug. Bug flag. Oh, that's just out the door. That's where it came from. Okay. Do you know where this guy is? Someone in particular. So the Redoran counselors all live in the Manor District. Tell me about House Redoran. It's in Aldrun under Scar. Scar is the shell of the Emperor Crab. Yep. Tell me some rumors. Light storms are bad this year, and all sorts of blighted beasts are coming down from the mountain. Okay. Blight is weather caused by the big volcano, Red Mountain. Do you have anything cool for me to buy? I'm sell that, because I don't need that axe. Medium armor. I'm specializing in heavy armor, and it doesn't look like they've got anything better for me. Someone's got to know where this guy is. I don't know where he is. Maybe I'll go to the pub and see if he's there. It's usually a pretty good bet. I don't know anything about him, but I'll ask you about House Redoran. Alright. This city is owned by them. Who are you? You own this place. All right, you don't know anything about him. You don't know anything about him. What's downstairs? Tongue toad. What do you ask of me?
Alright, this guy says he's an important big shot. Your turn to talk, ours to listen. Well, I don't see guy we're looking What's for here. Maybe he's in the manor district. Go back to the big crab. His name is Ionis Sarandis. His parents died recently. He's taken to drinking expensive liquor and has incurred some gambling debts. He's charming and everyone likes him, but he's not very responsible. Okay. So we're looking for Sarandis Manor if we can find it. I don't know if it's in here, but that would be my guess. Alchemist. What does this say on the map? The council entrance. Get up there. Come on. Don't make me climb. Gonna have to get up on the walkways. Arabar Manor, Morg Tong Guild Hall. Sarethi Manor. Doesn't look like any of these are what I'm looking for. I've got better things to do, so if you don't mind, let's move well, this along. You get out of my way, I can move along. Okay, let's go ask that clothier again. She knows where this guy is hanging out. Okay, she doesn't have anything to tell me about him. That is annoying. Where will we find him? No one seems to know anything about him. Let's go to the council club, which I think is the other bar in town. Here. That's oh. not him. Nope. Doesn't look like he's here. So we will try the council club. Venom is having an affair with the wife of one of the other counselors. You want to see me guarding Orc? 
Okay, Outlander, but make it quick. No one else down here? She's a knight. Anyone know about the guy I'm looking for? Wonder if he's got his own house here in town. It is a possibility. Ah, that's his house. See here. He is here. Oh, he does have fancy clothes. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. <laughs> they sure do. And I'm here to profit off it, Duke. <laughs> okay. He's unable to pay his debts right now. He's a little strapped for cash. But he has very attractive prospects underway. So, do I threaten to take the merchant's goods by violence, or do I take no immediate action? Well, I think I'm going to have to threaten him. <laughs> I am here about the overdue payments. All right, then I'm just going to have to uh, work my magic on him. And say, hey, can I purchase honor with gold? Come on. So I gave him a little cash. Maybe that'll help him out. I'm going to offer a sympathetic ear and friendly advice. <laughs> he says, as you say, I have the goods. I owe the money, and the honorable thing to do would be to just return the goods. It's, oh, it's too much to bear. I've lost everything my parents left me. I've sold all the furnishings just to pay my gambling debts. I've tried to pretend it'll all work out, but I'm just fooling myself. Here, take these items and return them. Give the shirt and pants to Bevel Tenarin. Give the razor suede belt to Tiris Sadus. Give the ebony ring and glass ring to Danis Redithril. Give the designer shoes to Leather Vari. Give the fire jade amulet to Bevane Relith. <laughs> uh... It's time I faced facts and lived up to the hopes of my poor depart that my poor departed parents had for me. I'll just have to sell the house and find some better, more honorable way to live. It's hard, but it's fair. I've learned my lesson. From this day forward, I will make my honest way in the world. Uh, yeah, so now we've got another shirtless guy. All right. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff we need to deliver. Uh, okay. I mean, we'll start with the person that hired us, and we'll go from there, I guess. It really is a theme tonight. Lots of shirtless people. Okay. So here's the shirt and the pants. Our Excellent. Selection is the finest in town. So who else do we have to deliver to? Got a couple rings to bring to Tiris Sadis. I don't know if that's here or not. An alchemist, an enchanter, Lethervari, I believe, is one of them. Yep, so the shoes go over here. Let's see where he's hanging out. Come on, I haven't got to pay the 
understand how they talk. Shopping for enchantments. Here you go. Here are the designer shoes. Great. Who's next? Uh, the rings to Tyrus Sadus. So Tyrus Sadus, do you have a shop in here? Or am I gonna have to look somewhere else? Looks like I'm gonna have to look somewhere else for him. I can find it on the map. Tyrus Sadus is right over here. Let's do some business, shall we? Yep, yep, yep. Here you go. All right, everything has been returned. And it turns out the poor young guy has given his house to the temple and is studying to be a priest. Good for him. Happy he decided to turn his life around. Let's go back to the Mages Guild and we will zip back to Balmora. to Balmora. And that is it for the evening. Thank you everyone for joining in. This has been a lot of fun. I am happy to share Morrowind with you. It's one of my favorite games ever. We've gotten a lot accomplished tonight. A lot of people took their shirts off and we made a bit of cash. So I hope everyone can tune in next time. I am streaming Wednesdays and Sundays. And I'm glad to see people come out and check out these old games with me. Morrowind came out in 2002. Uh, when I was in high school, I actually saved up summer job money to buy a new video card just so that I could play this game. Uh, and it's been great revisiting it, and I, I'm really enjoying it so far. So tune in next time for the adventures of Dorcas Malorcus. Uh, we'll have a good time. Later, everyone.